Hey, what is going on everybody? It's that guy Mitch here and hopefully uh, the audio is working this time. So if you guys see a lot of wires, it's just because last time I did this audio did not work, but well, let's move on. What are we doing today? Today we are going to be uh, installing a spare tire carrier. So as you can see, probably uh, my wheels look a little bit wider and that's just because I went ahead and got some 35s put on and everything is great so far. I'll go ahead and do a review or kind of an overthought of what I really think about um, having 35s. But let me go ahead and grab this right here. So this is gonna be the Rough Country kit. So there's a bag of hardware. Uh, we also receive a Rough Country catalog in here. Uh, we also receive the directions for this and the mount itself so this is really what we're going to be installing right here um, very heavy duty low low weight to it so we're going to go ahead take off the uh, factory uh, mount or the factory uh, carrier and we'll go ahead and place this so that we can move that tire up and fit a 35. all right now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove our spare tire now uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the 22 millimeter socket and our security uh, lock. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and just get that off. There is a bottom one too. We're going to take this off. But before we do that, I forgot to take off the camera bit. So in order to remove the little plastic camera housing. We're gonna go ahead and take our T40 and we're gonna go ahead and just turn this to the unlock position. And you do that by turning it uh, counterclockwise. Once you do that, just slides right off. We're gonna go ahead and put that to the side and now we have access to that bottom um, 22 millimeter Okay, we got that off. All right, and now we're just gonna go ahead and take our tire and place it somewhere else. So now that we have this, what we're gonna do is go ahead and take a T25, take all of these off so that we can go ahead and adjust the wiring in here All right, so basically what we're doing now is we're gonna go ahead and readjust this cable. And all we're gonna do is just make sure we run it along the inner side instead of going on the outside. That's gonna allow us to be able to move uh, this entire component upwards so that we have more clearance for our spare tire. So now that we've gone ahead and adjusted this, okay, just make sure that everything is gonna be good and tight. Make sure it doesn't get snagged. All right, like the way that looks. Just go ahead, bring this down gently. All right, and this should all snap right into place. And we're gonna go ahead and put all our, uh, all our screws back in. Now remember, there are gonna be two longer ones, so you wanna make sure that those two are gonna go on the very bottom ones. So now that that is all done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove this entire carrier so that we can go ahead and mount up our uh, bracket. All right, now in order to remove this bracket, all you're gonna need is a 13 millimeter. 
Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use an impact for this. Or you can also use a half inch. I don't actually have. All right, now that this has been removed, what we want to do, as you can see here, there's this uh, camera piece. We're just going to go ahead and, there we go, pop up this loose one so that we can go ahead and pick this up. Now, the way we're going to raise this piece is by removing the T25 screws that are here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, now we went ahead and raised that part. All right, so now that I have this kind of hanging off the side, we can see here, uh, this definitely needs to be cleaned up some before we go ahead and put the other things. So let's grab something. And one thing we're gonna need to verify is if this one needs to be cut. So, let's go ahead and just roughly line this up. All right, looks like all our holes line up perfectly. And go ahead and take our socket without the gun because we don't want to go ahead and strip any of these. We're going to go ahead and just hand tighten this so that we can get a nice feel for where it's going to be. We're going to do the same. For the right side, I'll line it up. We're going to hand tighten this. All right, now we have the last two on the outer portion. I really need to stop filming these videos in the middle of the day when it's really hot. All right, so everything seems to be nice and tidy right now. Uh, that's definitely nice and solid on there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly torque these down to 18 foot pounds. Make sure that this is at 18. Okay, we heard that click. There we go. Okay, we heard a click. All right, and we got a click. So now these are all torqued down to the correct spec. Now the last thing to do is we're gonna go ahead and mount this tire carrier back on here. All right, now for our um, new hardware, you're gonna go ahead and slide over the flat washer and then the lock washer like so. And we're gonna go ahead and raise this up and just make sure you align your bolts correctly and we're just going to very very loosely mount this up so that we don't have to hold it okay
And I'm going to do the right side as well. All right, well, unfortunately, it looks like my camera cut off at some point during the recording. But basically, after we installed this, all we did was uh, mount this um, tire carrier. And this has been raised up. So you can see here, there's an extra hole. Um, and that is just for moving this up so that we can clear that 35. All right. Now we've basically mounted the tire. Now I did not record myself mounting this up because that was a struggle on its own. But now that it's up, all we're gonna do is go ahead and tighten this down to 90 foot pounds of torque. I'm gonna go ahead and do this in a star pattern. go got a nice click all right and we got our last and final click now all we have to do is reassemble uh, the little housing where the camera goes so let's go ahead and do that all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and slide this cover back on we're gonna go ahead and put this screw into the lock position just by turning it. Okay, it's in that lock position and you can see this is now uh, done. All right, so basically what I was saying in the end of this video, cause I actually didn't like the way I ended the video, but in the easiest way possible is this is not a complete project and what i mean is basically this is not the best solution for carrying your spare tire especially an aftermarket one that might weigh a little bit more now if you go online and you go through all the forums and you check out what everyone really has to say there's a lot of uh, conflicting um, information some people say that the uh, that the door can handle you know up to 85 pounds some people say it can handle more but in reality it's very hard to uh, determine who is a true expert and who is not i try to find it in the manual how much weight it could actually carry but i was unsuccessful and i just didn't find anything so with that being said this is a temporary solution for me at least the goal is to either a get a um a new tire carrier that bolts onto the um, door hinges with stronger and thicker bolts or option B which is probably the preferred method and definitely the more expensive route is to get a rear bumper that is a spare tire carrier as well so that the weight of the spare tire is on the rear bumper so those are really the two options that we have after this um, you know just relocation bracket which doesn't take the weight off of uh, the door, but it is a temporary solution, like I said, and my goal is to upgrade it sometime in the near future. I'm just really trying to figure out um, some other things in the works, and hopefully um, within the next few months, we can go ahead and get that upgraded. But hopefully you guys liked this video. I know it was a little bit difficult uh, to film. So hopefully I got, you know, the gist of how this is to install. It's a very easy, straightforward installation. And hopefully those of you guys who needed a little bit more help or a little bit more detailed, you guys got that information in this video. So thank you guys for watching. If there's anything you guys would like to see me add to my car or any products out there that you know, maybe you guys are interested, leave it in the comments below. I'm more than happy to check it out and possibly do a review or video on it. Like I said before, I do plan on going over with you guys kind of what it's like running 35s on my Jeep. And it's definitely interesting, I'll say that, but that'll be for another video and we'll go over that then. So again, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you guys wanna see more videos. And until next time, see you.